Alright guys, Dave from King's Consoles, back with another video. Uh, this is going to be a pickups video. Uh, primarily, in fact, I say primarily, all of it is PlayStation 2 stuff. Um, but stuff I'm quite happy to get and happy to show off to you guys. Um, first of all, a little bit of backstory. This is a bit of a delayed video, so I do apologise. We've been to this for weeks. Um, you'll see by the first game I'm going to show you. Um, long story short, I went for a wee wander around town. Uh, I was at the dentist, so I had to... Uh, make myself feel a bit happier after I had a couple of fill-ins, which is a bit shit. I uh, went for a little walk around on Fairman. Uh, to be honest with you, I couldn't really find anything. I was looking around most of the charity shops, I was getting actually a bit worse, I had a sore mouth and couldn't find any games anywhere. And then I came across Cash Generators, um, which thankfully I'm really happy to, to say that I actually found a lot of games in there. Um, it was actually as many games as I could pick up. Um, the reason being, as you'll be aware, PlayStation 4 has been announced, uh, so that means that PlayStation 3 games are going to start to come down in price a lot more. So it won't be long until we're finding games for a couple of pounds for the PS3. It's been a long life cycle. So they're really trying to get rid of the PlayStation 2 stuff. So I'd say these main stores, it's worth having a look in. Uh, you'll probably find your luck. Um, all these games I'm going to show you are from Cash Generators, and they're all 49 pence each. You heard that right? 49p. Uh, and some of these titles, uh, I'm really impressed that I got off that price. So, enough of my waffling. First game I'm going to show you, I've shown you already in another video. It's The Warriors. Um, now this is based on the movie. If you've seen my 16 Bit Brothers Masturbators video response, I'll go into a bit more detail of this. Um, the condition is great. Uh, see, I owned this before um, in the past. I, I sold my PlayStation 2 with all my games full. Uh, and. And this is one of them. So when I found this for 49 pence, I had to get it because I think it's a great game. It's a great representation of the, the movie. Um, it's all boxed complete and definitely worth a pick up. Can you dig it? Yeah, it's the Warriors. Next game, uh, also 49p. I say I don't like to keep myself 49p because I mentioned at the start um, I got more 49p. Uh, X Men, Next Dimension. A game I've always seen, uh, I actually wanted this when the PlayStation 2 first came around, but I heard such bad stuff about it, I kind of passed. I love the X-Men cartoon, um, but see the cool artwork, Wolverine, Cyclops, um, made by Activision. This is actually a, a fighting game, um, nothing really special, I suppose it's okay for the time, but it's no Tekken, no Street Fighter, it's just some Marvel characters. Some people like it actually. Um, I just think it's really only good for getting your mates around, um, having a few babies and just beating the crap out of each other, being X Men characters. Box complete once again. Um, see, all these games have been tested and working. So, manual and disc. So, yeah, more than happy with that. And I'll get the guys in to play that at some point. Um, next, a couple of racing games. Um, I'll put them on the same category. Picked up another copy of Wipeout Fusion which I found for a pound in Cash Journey of Edinburgh. Um, I say this was 48p, so I couldn't let this go. I mean, this game is awesome. It's box complete again. Um, I played the other version. This one's been tested and working. In fact, this is in better condition than the other copy. So this is actually up for trade uh, if anyone's interested in picking up Wipeout Fusion for the PS2. Um, now, because I've got my steering wheel and I'm playing Gran Turismo 5, I kind of want to collect the originals, um, so I've already got Gran Turismo 2, my original copy, so I found Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec. Um, it's not really for, I would say it is for playing this as nostalgia, going back to these graphics compared to GT5. Um, but it's boxed complete, 49p, just adds it to the shelf. Fortunately some buggers put a P on there. Um, but yeah, the discs in great condition, the, the manuals there, spot on. At the same time I found that, um, I came across GT4, so I'm guessing it must be the same guy who traded it in. Um, once again, it's been really good taken care of for being a cash generators game. Um, manual disc. Uh, yeah, fantastic. When I stuck this in, um, although they sell my PlayStation 2 stuff, I did actually keep my memory card. I just forgot about it. I don't know why I didn't sell it. Um, so I stuck my memory card in with this game and I must have had some sort of cheat because I had billions of pounds, uh, loads of money, all the cards pretty much. So I had a good laugh with this and of course it works with my steering wheel um, I've got. So um, yeah, having this in the past um, 
never I only used the joypad, I hadn't played with the wheel, so really glad they've got both three and four. Uh, I'm looking for the original Gran Turismo, um, a game I had in the past, but just to kind of complete the collection. And obviously GT6 recently been announced as well, so I'll probably end up picking that up as well. Um, I just love Gran Turismo series really. Another one, another series which is awesome, uh, Burnout Revenge. Now I had Burnout 1, uh, Burnout 2, I'm sure it's the third in the series. Never played this one. Um, but same again for the price, uh, I had to have it. Um, I don't, I've not played this yet, but I love the crash. Uh, I used to spend hours with my mates in the crash section. Regardless if it has got or not, um, I need to stick this on with the steering wheel. In fact, I might even do it tonight. Um, have a good go of Burnout Revenge. It's more box complete. I'm thinking this is all for the same guy actually. It's like they've he's brought his whole collection in. Um, in the racing games. Uh, so don't worry, there's still more to come. Uh, I've got another little stack down here at the moment, uh, which one I'll show you first. Uh, I think I know which one's going to come first. So like this. Star Wars, that's enough of that. <coughs> Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, uh, the original trilogy. What I've not actually played before, it's a Platinum series, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I've not played many Lego, let me think. I had Lego Star Wars, the video game, um, the DS, I think it was the only version I actually had. But yeah, box complete, great condition. That's a Platinum disc, but uh, these games are so much fun, the Lego, Lego games. Um, some of the best movie games out there actually, just to tie in with the 8 Bit Brothers movie games. Uh, yeah, just the comedy they bring to the series is awesome. Uh, the reason I had the music on <laughs> is because... Cue again. Let's try something different. Star Wars, like Star Wars again, with some... I don't know what this is. I don't really want to know. Um, yeah, Lego Star Wars, uh, the prequels, I guess, kind of more music. Um, shut up. Uh, yeah, Platinum again. Let's see, this must be the same person once more. Um, disc plays perfect, uh, not any issues. Um, manual's great. It's just this damn stuff on the front, which I'll, I'll switch the case out. I've got another couple of Platinum cases. You see, these are the, the Platinum Silver Grey, whatever you call it, cases that come in. So I've got a couple of like Pro Evo. Uh, FIFA ones that are like that. So I'll be swapped out. You'll see a theme come along here soon. Uh... Clone Wars. A game I've never actually heard of. I didn't actually know this was out for the PlayStation. Right, shut up, Darth. Anyway, um, yeah, Clone Wars. Um, Fire the Sin. It's actually really pretty good. It's a vehicle based game primarily, but you can jump out uh, and fight with your lightsabers. Um, I've only really played through the first level. No manual, but say 4 p um, So it plays perfect, looks great. So if I could then show you really the backs of those other games, the, the pictures are quite small and you can't see very much. Um, you can see a little bit better on this one. So you can see there's your snow speeder. Uh, yeah, I've never actually been that level, but it'll be quite good to see. Um, yeah, you can go on Mace Windu in the first level. Um, good fun. I really can't say much more about it because I've not played uh, much more than that. Uh, and this next one, I can't be arsed playing any more Star Wars music. You get the gist. Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Uh, a space shooter. Now, I had... Um, was it Battle for Naboo? It was a PC. Um, almost similar version. It was when Episode 1 came about. They had a... A Star Wars um, fighter. I've not played this yet, but I'm guessing it's much the same. Um, you jump in your different vehicles. There you go. You just see it there. You jump in your different vehicles. I'm guessing it's based around the the prequels and um, I shoot shit. No manual, the disc. It's more for an MP. No grumbling. So this is my little stack. There we go. That five pound. I'm just double take. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, five 
five pounds, well, just under five pounds, uh, and I got all that. And the guy in the checkout said, "Oh, that's not bad for that." I think it was Scottish. I don't know. I had a strange accent. Anyway, so that was uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, fast forward about a week or so afterwards, um, I just went for a little wander after work. I finished work early, so I walked into Blockbusters. Um, I tried to cash generators in that my local area. Um, it was getting a bit late, and to be fair, there wasn't actually that much there. I did pick up a couple of Xbox games. Um, to be fair, actually, oh, I lie, they're here. There's the Xbox 360 in here as well. Ah, I forgot these. Um, yeah. $3.99, probably paid a little bit much for them, but the last remnant didn't get a great review. But it's Square Enix, so I'm um, oops, wrong side, Square Enix, so I'm always happy to give it a go. Uh, this again, box to complete, this is in great condition. This is cash generator, as I say. Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of crap things that you have to really install this to the hard drive to get it to play properly. The frame rate's apparently pretty poor, but for $3.99, I wanted to give it a try. Another one is Final Fantasy X2, Final Fantasy XIII, two, Final Fantasy X2 is Final Fantasy XIII, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, there's lightning. So now it's 3.99. Uh, even comes with a slipcase. So slipcase in there, and see, we've got the, the plastic on this. Really, mustn't have been touched at all. Um, so yeah, that's a. Uh, Spot on. Um, Final Fantasy 13. I kind of think I just I'm trying to just collect all the Final Fantasy games, and I'll be honest with you, I've actually got quite a few pickups for Final Fantasy. I'm just saving for one big video. Um, I just thought I'd show you this right now. This is my second copy of uh, 13 2. But yeah, so going back to PlayStation, that was my main part of the story. Um, went to Cash Generator. PlayStation stuff was pretty crap. Your real sports titles. Picked up them. Uh, just when I thought all hope was lost, what plus Blockbuster, it said 50% of games. Looked at the new stuff, um, there were some decent titles there, nothing I was particularly too fussy about. Um, but I came across uh, a couple of games. Um, first was Space Invaders Anniversary, with that great shiny Space Invader. Um, yeah, hard to think, 1978. Came out. Sorry, I just love that Space Invader. Um, I like it. Who doesn't like Space Invaders? It's just a really simple game to pick up and play. It's got loads of different variations of the, the cabinets, uh, even like in the 3D version, which I'm not too sure about. Should be quite fun. Why not, eh? Um, there we go. It's been pre on there. It's a game. Is it? No, it's a blockbuster. Uh, yeah, so disc, manual. Um, played it, works perfect. And say it was one ninety nine advertised, half price off, one pound. Quid for Space Invaders. See, they try to get rid of them. They really don't want to have their PlayStation Two stuff kicking about. Um, <clears throat> another one, a game I previously owned in the past, Zone of Enders, um, Hideo Kojima. I, I played Metal Gear Solid. I started reading up on the guy, uh, and then I was really excited for this game coming out. I bought it day one. Um, because I thought the guy that made Metal Gear Solid, uh, Kojima is going to have to bring someone good. And uh, it was mechs, it was big robots. Um, so you, how can you go wrong? Uh, I, did, I don't know if it's actually got here. I don't think it has. But this did used to have the... Um, see, this is in pretty good condition too. Um, this had the Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty demo. I think that's another reason why I wanted this game as well, because I really wanted to play the demo of the second Metal Gear game, uh, Metal Gear Solid, say. So there's some screenshots, and it's even got its own little bit for Metal Gear. Sadly it doesn't come with the demo, but I've got the game anyway. Um, awesome game, I uh, need to try and get the second runner. I've never played that one, played and completed this. Um, was tempted to get the HD collection, but once again, one pound, jobs are good in. Um, next one, I think it was Shock 16, I'm trying to remember. I do apologise mate, if you're... Um, it wasn't yourself, but uh, I think you had mentioned this game in your movies pickup. Um, was that long ago since those videos were about? Um, but that is. <clears throat> you ready? The 
that fellow. I'm going to make him an offer you can't refuse. Terrible, I know. Yeah, limited edition. Um, one pound. Woohoo! Uh, what more can I say? The Godfather films. Um, it's, it's, it's a great franchise. To try and actually release a game of the Godfather movies was quite an ambitious thing. I think it does pull it off. Obviously, it's GTA style. Um, I just slip like this off. In fact, I'll give it a closer look. Uh, I like this at the back. Welcome to the family. Um, <coughs> I won't get too much detail. Um, but, Metal Slip Case Limited Edition. Uh, now, The Godfather, it just had game written all over it for, like, as soon as Grand Theft Auto came out, you can pretty much make uh, a version of this. I love that Marlon Brando picture. It just really sets off the case. Uh, made by EA. Um, there's a disc there. Discs, manual, highly been played. Very strange for this to be a, a rental. I'm thinking this is, must this must be a trade-in or something. Because I wouldn't see a rental company renting out a limited edition. Um, but I'm not complaining. I got it for a pound. Um, definitely worthwhile if if you do see it about in the wild, pick it up. Uh, I've played this through a little bit. Uh, got to the start uh, and straight away, it plays exactly like Grand Theft Auto. I've heard some mixed reviews, some people love it, some people hate it, but certainly I'm enjoying it and I'll be playing it again shortly. Last one, last but no means least, Masters of the Universe, He-Man, Defender of Greystal. It's a bit shit, but He-Man's the main guy. And he's got this little crappy title at the bottom, and it's even, yeah, he's bloody lightning's covered in the title. Um, one pound again, so I'm going to pick it up. Um, recently saw the Ryan Shan's also got this as well. Good luck, mate. Um, yeah, I've not heard the best of this. I think it's a... Uh, I don't know if it's actually a beat-em-up or a side-scrolling uh, fighter. Um, Set from the picture in the back, it appears to be like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, beat-em-up. Um, but yeah, just going back. It's a bit, it should be called He-Man, Big He-Man, and the Masters of the Universe. But he's got this little crappy side bit. It's not the 80s anymore, I'm sorry. But yeah, this game is meant to be apparently pretty shit. But I think in the same respect as the X-Men, I think you could probably sit as on your, your mates, um, usually 80s kids, and just have a right good balls around with this thing. Um, some screenshots at the back. The graphics don't look that bad, actually. The skeleton, and even the, the power saw looks pretty cool there. I've yet to stick this in. And it's Battle Cat, so you must have... It must be a sight that's going to beat him up. Um, we'll see. The, certainly the manual, I had a quick look at that, the box is complete. Certainly the manual um, has moves, uh, it's in black and white. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty chuffed with this this game. Uh, I like He-Man, I'm an 80s kid, so uh, I'll give it a shot. If it's shit, what have I wasted? One pound? Hmm. What can you buy for a pound? A pound a fish? One pound fish? I don't know. But let's see. Um, what more can I say about it? Sorry about that interruption. So, Dave from King's Consoles here, saying hope you enjoy my pickups. Uh, rate, comment, 
and subscribe. Please subscribe if you do enjoy them. There will be more pickups shortly. I do apologise for the delay. Things have been a little bit busy. Um, yeah, catch us later. Peace out.